Hey folks, so uh, gonna do an update. I wasn't gonna, but you're gonna ride along with me. So it's kind of sunny out. <clears throat> Just got the Daytona out and uh, let's see if you can, if you can see that. We're at uh, Metro Sign and Wraps. So, yep, we're getting the, I keep saying that it's a wrap, but that's, that's what we're doing. So we're wrapping the truck. So let's go inside and we've got the truck apart and we'll, uh, we'll see what's going on. So again, Daytona's out. That's pretty cool. Nice day. And let's go inside. We'll see what's going on. So here we go. Truck's back apart. We're getting all that work to put it together and to wrap it, you gotta take it all back apart. And here are all the pieces. And then just so everybody's tracking, I wasn't realizing <clears throat> all this, but if you've got any trash in the paint, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's little dimples where every place there's trash in the paint. So just to get this ultra smooth, we're gonna wet sand it one more time. Uh, here's a good example uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but you gotta get this stuff smooth. Wrap doesn't cover or hide the defects. It may actually amplify them. So, um, you know, the panels are actually ready to wrap uh, all except for the the hood, uh, you know, prior prior to paint. Uh, they are really that flat. Um, maybe just even, <clears throat> just you would want to at least sand them once to get the release agent and everything off of them and get them nice and clean. Uh, but yeah, I would, uh, if you didn't want to paint, you could definitely just, you know, flat sand it and get all the defects out of, uh, just make it flat because it'll just amplify it. So we're going to go do that, take a couple hours, wet sand all these pieces one more time and then, and then wrap it. All right, well, uh, we've got it all washed up. You can see it back there. Uh, washed the roof and then wet sanded one more time. I was going to have to wet sand anyway, so, and then rather than buff and do all that, so it's wet sanded and buff ready as soon as we take the wrap off in four or five years or whatever. Um, but yeah, so it looks good. I uh, got all the nibs and trash out of the paint and it's, uh, it's ready to go back inside. So, yep, uh, probably sometime next week uh, we should be looking pretty good. Anyway, so let's take a look at what it looks like with all the stuff off. Maybe we'll get some, you can pick up some details in there if uh, you got any questions, stand by. All right, so there's one bedside and the other one. All the other panels are inside. Uh, there's a look at the suspension. Here's the rear suspension. Looks good. Get all washed up and clean, clean finally. All that pan hard bar, sway bar, exhaust sitting there. Looks pretty good. Again, we've been driving, you know, got 800 miles on it almost. So, I mean, it's a driver. It's going to be at SEMA, but it's it's a we're using it it's it's been it's got stuff in the back already and there's some stuff from Lowe's in there so it's, it's working good this side the bed look at that chassis that's a that's a piece of metal right there yep so yeah the the idea about this is they're going to bring the wrap all the way to the back here so when we put the bedside in, you're not going to even see the color change. So, oh, let it out of the bag. So, yep, it, it's going to be a, you'll see it. It's a, it's somewhat of a color change. But, yep, it's good shape. And I got, uh, I got this glass uh, changed out because I was grinding next to the car and melted some metal in the, in the glass. And then I've got a new front windshield bunch of pits 140,000 mile truck had a bunch of pits and cracks and stuff in it so it's all fresh so we've done a full reset on the truck and it should be good for another 150,000 miles all right so stay tuned all right well here we are we're wrapping let's take a look 
All right, so here's the truck on the side. The door handles pulled. Third brake light pulled, all the trim off. It's got to all get detailed anyways. The truck will be nice and clean. <clears throat> got the front all sanded smooth again. That was all it. So basically what will happen is when we take this back off, we'll, uh, you know, five years from now, I'll just have to come back and buff it. There's no need to do it right now. It'd have to get buffed anyway if we take the uh, vinyl off. But yep, so then, I mean, we are just now starting. So here's the process. And we've got the gray going in and <clears throat> he's laying it all out. So you get to see that. And then he's got to cut the sections and start laying it in. There it goes. First piece is going on. Sweet. Okay, and then we did get the tailgate all done. This is matte black. It's gonna look really nice up on there. That took about 45 minutes or so to wrap. It's looking good. So I can actually start, I can actually put the handle in now next. So we're working, looks good. Should be moving pretty quick now. So let's stand by.